This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review. What I'm looking at today is the third episode of Love, Robots, and Zombies called The Witness. This was written by Tim Miller, which is interesting because it's very much... It's a very sexualized episode. Did I not mention that Love, Death, and Robots are, is for adults? And this very much proves that. It's very sexualized in terms of nudity and so on and so forth. And what's interesting is the animation style. In fact, visually, animation reminds me a lot of Scott Pilgrim Against the World. Lots of, well, not a lot, but certainly there are more than a few of bams and explosions and that type of thing. And also what's really interesting is that, as I mentioned, I'm not crazy about the CGI thing. But at the same time, this is very much motion capture. And the CGI is almost like a light dusting in most cases, which gives it this really interesting visual look. And it looks more live action than it does CGI, which I like, actually. It's very interesting visually. But the weakest link, I'd have to say, is the story. It isn't bad by any stretch. It's kind of a play on Groundhog's Day, if you will. But it's fun. Certainly, though, The Witness is probably the weakest of the three episodes of Love, Death, and Robots thus far. This is Brian at ScreenFiles.com and Review. Peace.